Hi there, it's Phil from parkerlinks.com. I hope it finds you well today. Now today we're back in the garden again at long last because it's the start of February and you can see all around you, you've got all of the daffodil buds coming through. We've got the hyacinth starting to come from the ground and even the Star of Bethlehem starting to come through as well. So it's looking really good now. But today we're here to talk about dahlias. Now you may have seen on my previous videos throughout the summer I had some lovely red dahlias and absolutely gorgeous. Now, the problem though we did have was there should have been a lot more. Now I had three or four of the dahlia tubers eaten by vine weevils. Now until last year, I'd never really heard of vine weevils, but now I know too much about them. They are horrible little things. And they come from nowhere, basically, they end up, especially in tubs with things like dahlias, they just come up, loads of them. When there's one, there's tons. Now, they started eating away, turned it literally to mush, and when I put my hands in the pots to find out why they weren't growing, it's got a handful of mush. So, not good at all. Now, there is a preventative measure, and I wish I knew this. But, now I do, I'm going to get this done, and I'm going to show you what to do. So, basically, you're taking it out and you're cleaning it and we're going to do this now and I'll show you exactly what it is so so simple now it's a good time really to do this during late autumn winter maybe at the latest early spring which is what it is just coming up now so we'll do this and then we'll be able to plant them again in a couple of months time so let's get on with showing you how it's done so this is the dahlia we're talking about there was a shop bought one rather than the seed one of course the seed one is doing all right and I'll show you that afterwards so we've let this dry out so we can just take these now and snap them off without damaging the tuber so if we do that we do that with all of them now it's best if you do this when it's dry because then all of this will shake off easily but because it rained a little bit last night not so easy to get it all off but you'll see what I mean now tubers are interesting things because they aren't like most plants a single bulb they're not like standard roots but they can see lots of little roots around it it's almost like you've got separate bulbs attached to one big bulb quite a strange thing. Now, as you might be able to see now, we do have here one there. Like that there's one. There's another one. Turn around. There's more here. Now, all of these, see there, there's a few more. So there's quite a few attached here. So we need to get all of this mud off though, we can't leave any on. So you can see here all the tubers, all of these separate pieces, but they're all joined into one single lump. Now clearly parts of this have been eaten a little bit. They get off way too easy. And uh, I'll show you what I mean here. This one's not too bad, but see, it's not going to survive on there. It'll probably just make it worse. But otherwise, it's looking quite healthy. So what we do now is we'll spray water to get rid of all of this excess dirt. So get all this compost out of it, and then we'll have it so it's nice and clean. So here's our tubers then, we're now going to clean them up a bit. So as you can see there, all the tubers, it's all literally coming off of one piece. Each one of those has a potential on its own actually of being a plant. So 
we'll let this dry out and then we'll take it to the next stage. There you are, that's the finished result. So as you saw, we just sprayed all the compost off uh, with a spray tap. Uh, you can use a hose pipe if you like or just a bowl of water and just wipe all of the compost off and uh, then just dampen it down with a paper towel and uh, put it on the kitchen sink to dry overnight. Pretty simple. So that's all done. Now what we can do is we can split it if you wish. Now if you wanted to you can just go straight down the middle and otherwise each one of these little tubers is actually effectively a plant on its own. So you could just take a number of them off. So for example this big one here would be a really good one to try um, and just when you're ready put it in a pot and let it grow. Um, but uh, in the meantime you want it in a nice safe dry place um, and so in your shed or something like that will do just make sure there's no way it's going to get wet or moist and it'll be fine. Now obviously that's great precaution there we've managed to stop this from getting eaten by the vine removal grubs but one extra thing for you is uh, they do say that you can grow from seed which I did um, and quite successfully really considering how late I waited um, but if you try it a lot of people say the likelihood is you won't get any tubers from it on the first year you'd have to wait till year two however let's prove them wrong shall we here's something I had earlier here we go so this here is a dahlia that I had during the summer that I did from seed now I hope you can see where it is. If we just get down here, just try and dig it up. It's easier than I thought. Okay, so as you can see pretty easily there, that was the shape of the pot. So if we just try and break off all of this here, just gently, and uh, you'll see in here pretty quickly that in fact, it didn't just stay as roots there, which we do have obviously, but you can quite clearly see in here, there are tubers. Uh, so let's just keep getting rid of that compost there. Now this one wasn't quite as big as the other one I'm going to show you, um, but let's just take that out of the way. There. Now hopefully you can see that. Got one, two, three, four. Five, six. So you've got six here, um, and you could split maybe one of them off, but being the first year, I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm going to snap this bit off here, and uh, well, I would do. There we go. So snap that off, and we've got this lovely thing. Now, strangely though, I do have another one. The one I did earlier. There. So, this one I left a little bit longer. Now, this one grew a bit bigger, and quite clearly here you've got probably 15 and this one particular one being the biggest one. Now this would be absolutely perfect to use and I will also again wash this and the other one just taken out and uh, do the same process of getting it dry and then putting it in the dry location. So nice and simple there. Eh? So as I say that's our precautionary measure for stopping vine weevils from attacking uh, your dahlias and other plants like that uh, in your pots. Now there's only certain plants that it will go for normally and I'll list some of them at the bottom of the screen and uh, hopefully you'll try this and you'll save yourself some plants there. Now as I say I'd never really heard of them before until last year and I found out for bad reasons so just want to make you aware it can happen just so you don't get caught out as well. So I hope you do this please do send us any comments um, to say how you've done if you've had any way of doing it yourself or if you've done it in the past it'd be great to hear uh, from you as to what you've done so with that i'm going to go off and sort these out and i'll say god bless bye bye